Hi, this is Mrs. Kilkenny. I'm going to walk you through the pedigree lecture. All right, first of all, what is a pedigree? A pedigree is simply a family tree. Uh, it traces the history of a particular trait that runs in a family. Uh, it covers several generations, and it helps us to look at extended families. Uh, it also helps us to determine whether uh, traits or disorders are dominant or recessive. So here's an example of a sample pedigree. And what you'll see up across the top is that you have uh, three generations, first of all. Uh, the first generation, we have a female represented by the circle and a square represented by the male. Those two have gotten married. That's what the line connecting them represents. And then the vertical line coming down represents their children. So these two grandparents, they got married and they had two children, uh, a boy and a girl. The boy was then married to, to a female and they had four children. Okay, three boys and one girl. Now whatever trait or disorder that this pedigree is looking at, we can tell that the father had the disorder and also that his son had the disorder. So on this next slide, it's basically just the written version of what I just told you. Take a few minutes and write that down. So let's take a look at this one more time. I'd like you to count up how many males how many females and how many generations we're looking at here. Hopefully you said we had four females and five males. The purpose of this is to analyze the pattern of inheritance of a particular trait. Um, and then of course we shade in uh, the individuals that possess the trait, uh, again, are shaded in. That's how we know who has what. So when we look at this, we're trying to figure out whether a trait is dominant or recessive. Um, a dominant trait, if you remember, if it's present, it will always show up. So you expect to see a dominant trait in every generation. A recessive trait, however, will skip some generations. So take a look at this example of a pedigree chart and tell me whether you think this is a dominant or a recessive trait. Hopefully, you said dominant because one parent always has the trait. All right, next up, let's take a look at this one. Dominant or recessive. Hopefully, you said recessive because neither parents uh, are carrying or have the disorder in this case. So uh, sometimes in pedigrees, just so you're aware, uh, you will see squares that are half filled in. And this represents somebody who's carrying the trait or the disorder, whether it is dominant or recessive. So somebody who has a capital and a lowercase letter for a disorder will be half shaded in. So you might have a square that's half shaded in, or you might have a circle that is half shaded in. And that's it. I hope you uh, enjoyed the pedigree lecture. Let me know if you have any questions.